Good morning, everyone. It's Rita here, and uh, thank you for stopping by today. I am going to work on the Sunflower Journal again, and um, this is one that I'm not using um, digital kit pages. Uh, I'm just using uh, coffee dyed and uh, yellow food coloring um, I put in the um, dye bath, the coffee dye. So that's what I'm using for the pages. Um, so um, today I wanted to make a jeweler's pocket, which was from uh, Wendy's uh, Junk Journal Adventures, I think is her the whole name. And uh, I made it a while back. I don't remember exactly how to make it, so I'm going to go by my little thing here and hopefully I can remember it. I was going to use coffee dyed paper and decorate it, but I had this paper and this is from Mary, one of my um, followers. She uh, sent this to me in a happy mail and um, I was very excited about that. And uh, so I thought I'd try and make it out of this because, well, let me show you um, if I'm thinking right. I think like the sunflower would be really nice against this blue background. So um, that's kind of what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully it works. Um, and I got to figure out exactly how, you know, where the front is going to be because I want, okay, so let's do this. Let's fold it in half like the, my little instructions say. All right. Bear with me, Mary. I hope I don't mess this up. All right. So, cause I don't want to waste your paper. Um, so we fold this up and then we measure three quarters, four and three quarters, uh, from the bottom of the fold. So this is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. So this is the bottom. Uh, so this is going to be actually the front. Okay. So. Either way, we still have this yellow on the edge. I don't want to trim that yellow off because I want it to be this size. Um, yeah, I guess I could, maybe I could make it smaller, except I won't have the right measurements. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it'll be all right. Um, this is hand. This is jelly print paper. Okay. So anyway, like I said, this is going to flip over like that. So that will be the front. This will be the front flap. This will be the inside. If I'm got it correctly. All right. So we're going to measure up. Um, we're going to measure three. No, four and three quarters up. So right there. We're going to measure this and then I'm going to measure from that point another quarter inch here. Okay. So then I'm going to try to make this straight and I'm just going to draw it because I'm going to cut it with scissors, I think. And then on the quarter inch, we also need to draw a line. All right, so now we cut this part out up to the fold. You're going to cut this and this. This pocket, it's a one-page pocket, which is nice. It's not that difficult, but yeah, if you leave it and don't do it for a while, you forget how to do it. At least I do. I, I don't know. Um, you know, you make so many things you don't remember. Okay. So there we got that section there. All right. Now, <clears throat> now we're going to take the top part and we're going to fold it in about this far. So the yellow won't show there on that part. Okay. And that closes like that eventually then we're going to put a punch here for some reason i wonder if i 
I don't think I was cardstock last night, last, last night, last time, but this feels kind of lightweight. So I guess we'll see how it feels. All right, so in here, I'm gonna put a little punch mark. Let me make sure I've got this in the right. Yeah, this is my little punch right here on this uh, longer flap edge. <clears throat> you could put this together before you um, cut that punch out, but I'm going to ink that up too because when I glue it down, I want it to be inked already. Probably don't need to do this side, but I know I need that uh, part. All right, so now we take this part and we are going to cut, hold on, let's do it this way. Okay, we are going to fold this up let's fold it up I think I folded it up like an inch well, maybe a little more than an inch <clears throat> we have to make sure it fits in the journal page oh it's going to fit Okay, bear with me. I don't understand why it's... Okay, that's, that's the size. I think I've measured it from the right. Well, that's where the pocket goes. This gets folded up about this much. Isn't this crazy? Why can't I see what? Because she's got this little fold here as well. All right, so this little fold. And this is gonna get clipped off here. And this is gonna get clipped out here. that and this is going to get folded back like this I think all right okie dokie so now over here we need to fold this is folded here so we need to glue this shut on this side, like a coin envelope. And that gets glued down there. Then this part gets totally glued down. going to be the flap of the pocket. <clears throat> Sorry. I, it's very early today. I've got another doctor's appointment for my mom. Okay, so now we're going to cut away all of this. We glued all that. Now we're going to cut down all the way. So we're right on the edge of that, so that's good because, and you don't want to cut the edge of your pocket off. Um, kind of thought it might be better to have glued that in instead of cutting it all away, but I don't know. All right. 
So this is going to flap over like this. And it's going to flap over just shy of that up there so that you can um, get into the pocket. See, I just barely put it underneath that um, little edge there. Okay, now, um, I don't know why this is folded. It's possible that, I really don't know why. Or maybe I was supposed to, no, I'm going to close it. Okay, so anyway, then we had cut that part away. I'm going to cut this bottom part away. This is going to be the back of the pocket. So there's not so much bulk there. And then we'll fold this up. You know, you can go to Wendy's channel and... <laughs> and watch it on hers. She makes it so much easier, I guess. I don't know. It's just hard to remember. And and people say, well, you know, if you put it in your design book or your, you know, the book to keep your ephemera that you make, well, I've done that and I still can't figure out how I made it now that it's already made kind of thing. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm thinking I wanna take this yellow off and it's just going to make the pocket a little bit smaller or the flap I should say just a little smaller okay and then she does um, she does a, a slant on her pocket I would say a very very small slant I might be able to move that together and kind of eyeball where I, okay. And then from that point to this point, it makes a, should be the same kind of slant. Let's hope. And then we cut this away. This is the jeweler pockets part where it looks like this. All right. I guess that is it as far as the pocket goes, right? Let's see. I didn't fold this all down because, um, yeah, see, I marked it there. I cut away, and then down here goes a tab. I just feel like... Um, if you, I think if you did this with um, a cardstock, it might be a little sturdier. This part's not bad at all. Okay, and then she put a flap on the, uh, out here, just for, you know, just to make it look cute. And then you can lift it up. So I have that one with a little sunflower, or I have one that's totally plain. I don't think the long one looks good on it. Um, this one's got a few more. This one here has a little touch of blue. If I can find anything else with the blue on a tab. Well, this one's got a, oh, that's tiny. I don't want to put that tiny one. All right, I think I like this because like I said, it's got a little blue. Let me ink all this up real quick. So I hope everybody's doing well. I didn't ask you that. I just got into this. Been wanting to do this envelope for a while again. Um, and I just haven't had a chance to do it for whatever reason. I'm going to do 
do a little, just a little touch up there. Okay. That doesn't look quite, I guess it looks okay when it's closed. All right. Put a little bit of this on here. here I like this I like that color I think it's gonna look cool with the sunflowers I've been wanting to use it but I just didn't have the right um, subject to, to put it in you know all right I hope this flower fits. Yeah, it fits there. And then maybe we'll find a collage or something. Oh, not a collage, but a, what do you call it, to put on top? Um, cluster of some sort or something. All right, so I'm going to ink this. Let's see. Where's it? There it is. Just take the little bit. It's not white. It's actually cream. Uh, printed on cream paper, cream color. Whoops, I forgot that's got glue all over it already. Okay, so and uh, also Mary, um, who made this paper for me, or I mean, it was from her stash, I'm sure. Um, she is starting her own YouTube channel, Making Journals. And um, the name of her channel is Mary Made a Journal. Very cute, very, very cute. So um, she's on my link tree. And you can go over there and um, find her channel. And I think she would uh, love to have, I better turn that upside down. She would love, where'd my, oh, there it is. My granddaughter was here, you know, and everything is kind of like all over the place. Um, she was gluing, not to change the subject, but um, she was gluing and she was trying to make things stand up straight, like, you know, on top of each other. And she goes, your glue just doesn't work. So I go, no, it doesn't work like that. You have, so we had to get the hot glue gun out. But anyway, yeah, check out Mary's channel. Um, I don't know why my glue, this glue is not, maybe it's because it's got paint. On, this is painted paper. Um, go check out her channel and, you know, subscribe, get her going. Um, it's fun to start getting those, you know, likes and, and your, start getting your own, uh, people to subscribe because everybody has a different technique. Um, you know, we all, oop, I like that blue on there though, but oh, I don't think I want that. I have some of this. Hmm. Let's see. I feel like we need something else in here, of course. I'm never happy with it just that way. Let's look for a label, of course, or a number or something. I have some, oops, some blue. No, that's. Oh, that's not even center. Okay, so we'll go this way with something. Then it'll be fine, won't it? I was thinking 
So this is some of that cool paper I got yesterday, or I, the day before. Hmm. All right. Um, I thought a label would be good there, but I don't know. Maybe not. Just doesn't quite. I'll leave that out for a minute. I'll change my mind. Um. Yeah. So she's. You know, we've been in contact quite a bit and um, trying to, she's been trying to get it together and get comfortable with it. I don't know, it needs something, but I don't know what. I don't know. I get so matchy-matchy and that's the problem. green looks nice on there but does it go there no I don't think so <sighs> you know this is the part that takes so long for me Let's look at the words that came with the kit. I think somewhere, oh, this is a cute label. Hmm. Sunflowers, just... I mean, I could put some uh, lace behind it or something, but I just don't. Yeah, long greenish green. Let me see if I can find a cheesecloth or something. Um, all right, all I'm seeing is avocado dyed cheesecloth. No, I just, um, a little bit of sorry silk. That might look good. And I kind of like the sorry silk just sticking out like that. a little bit of something on it. Okay, I'm going to go with it. Let's see if my Sobo glue moved up. I didn't have it upside down. Okay, so that's cute. I'll just leave that in there for a minute. Yeah, I like that. Now for out. Oh, now I don't like it. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, okay. For one, this is somewhat crooked. it. 
Is that okay? I mean, you can see the word sunflower. I think it's okay. I'm going to leave it. Because I don't know what else would... I wasn't even thinking about the top coming over and not being able to see it. All right. Now, something up there. That doesn't conflict with the rest of it. I'm just not crazy about this um, butterfly in here at all. So let me um, let me see what kind of butterfly I can find or a bird. Um, okay, something maybe with some blue in it. Something big enough, but not too big. That's a little too big. Probably will never use these Tim Holtz Holtz butterflies that are all glossy like that. No, but I wish I had that dark blue contrast in one of these butterflies. But I don't think I do. the right size but I don't know well I hope you're fast forwarding past this butterflies you would think I would have one that would work with that color even that one doesn't okay so I have I can do this blue which isn't really the right blue or this one which kind of looks nice I mean it's just feel like this blue is so far off it's more of a baby blue I don't know how it looks to you guys in the camera but All right. um, we have the word on it already so we can't do a word um, just looks too too messy so I, I really do think that the butterfly by itself looks the best ink it up so I can it's more defined No, 
little book page maybe with it or something. <laughs> find some of that yellowish book page. I mean, I kind of like the book page in the background, but um, I don't know if it looks like um, too much stuff. I mean, I kind of like that. I think I like that. I don't know. You know, it's like you just have to look at it and say, okay, this feels right. So it kind of looks like a little collage is what I'm looking at here. Gotta make sure it all gets glued down. Without forgetting what I did. So, I, I should be able to glue that. I think I'm gonna use uh, fabric, I mean, um, art glitter glue because the glue stick didn't really wanna. Or if I had it over or under. Um, yeah, I think I like it. I mean, it looks like oh, maybe too much down here at this point, but I don't know if I cut that off, it would look, um, I'm going to leave it for now. I like it that way. So what we need is. Uh, now a tag to go inside. Um, probably going to have to be more like a journal card than a tag. But I can always cut the tops off of one of these tags and make it like a little journal card. Yeah.
I was just checking this to see if it was okay. I need a little glue right here. See, I don't think I have any other journal card that is. Yeah, they would all go down too far. So let's use this one. So I'm just going to cut the top off. And I will sew around it. if we can ever use that or not. So anyway, I'm going to put that in there. Okay. And this will get glued down inside the book on one of these pages. I'm not sure which one kind of wanted to do like this page and then the other side so I could keep these um, more in order. Okay, so you know this is a journal page. Okay, we've got journal, 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 journal. So we could just do it on this side. like I need to do something in the background before I do that. I might have to stencil. I have to pull my stencils out. So we'll do that in another video. All right. So on this other side, which would be here, I thought I would just, because I will run out of time in this video. So, um, going to take a book page, which I can use one of these. I think they're too long, but I'm going to have a better trim. Whoops. Trim the edge. All right. So this one here, um, this one I saw, I think, on Roxy's, Roxy Creations when she was doing, I don't know if, um, if it was her 100 day or her recent one. All right, so we're gonna have to cut this down. But I thought it was a good idea for um, uh, these glue pages. I should just keep making them, but I, ne I never think about it. Okay, so now we're going to get a piece of paper and make to cover this. And I don't think I want to use the same paper. I like this paper. And I'm thinking it would look okay in this book. Um, I don't see why not. Let's see, is there any other paper? The only other one I like is the wallpaper one. Where is that? I mean, for this little project. Oh, this would be cute, too. That would be cute. Okay, let's do that one. And... Let's do... I think that is long enough. Yep. Okay, so... Um, this piece here, we're going to make a piece that fits into this. Let me just rip this white off. I've got a 
to figure out what to do about my, oh, the ruler's upside down. I thought it was my table. Let me rip this side off and then we'll stick it on there. Okay. So on this side, I'm going to put a piece of this paper. I probably that's not even gonna show inside so okay we'll stick this down around it a little bit okay and then on this one side I will put you know I think I might move that back just a tad okay let me rip this edge off this paper here is um, Joey Card Maker, and um, I did. I purchased this um, kit, but I never used it as a kit. I just never used it. But I love the papers that were in it. straight. That's one thing about not having my mat on the table. Sometimes it's hard to cut, to rip it straight. Let me check this. Yeah, I can trim it off a little bit anyways. Um, let me just glue it down first and then I'll Then I'll ink around it. Make sure I'm high enough that I'm covering that. Okay. So my oops, my time is up. going to punch in the center here. Eight, so four inches right there. Then I'm going to ink. So I hope this wasn't too complicated, this whole, you know, video with that. I guess that's all I need to do in this bottom. Um, with the jeweler's pocket. I think it turned out cute though. All right, so now we're going to glue this shut. Just, oh, that's too high. Oh. 
well darn. So is that one. I forgot to cut them off. Okay. I put a new crease in that. It kind of weird. All right, so let me get this finished. These are very, very easy to make. Um, oops, I better glue this way because then I'll. And I've done this before um, where I've actually cut this like in half and I had two little side tucks as well. All right, so now in the journal, it's going to go like this and we could put it anywhere. Now, you could make a belly band behind here, and then um, in here you have room for a journal card or whatever you want to put, and back here, okay, like that. So, I'm, and then this, of course, would get glued up at the top and the bottom if you want to leave this back open, too. All right, so I'm going to leave that in that uh, section. I should clip these in so I know. going to clip it on there that way I know that I want it on that page because this one's going to be on this page and then it's kind of like getting them evenly spread out especially if it's one signature well two either way you can spread your book out that way a little bit and get it better um you know because sometimes for me anyway I'll get the front you know all great you know a bunch of stuff in it and then i i don't have anything in the back so then i have to kind of figure out what to do so this way we'll go back and forth and i'm not going to sew it in until i get the ephemera made for whatever all the pages because i might want to go back and stencil and um you know it's too hard to do once they're sewn in so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and um, we will see you in the next video. Bye.